Oh, well, with me now is in Christchurch is Dr Chris Gomez from Canterbury University who's uh, been researching how the earthquakes have changed the risk of flooding in the city. Good evening to you. Now tell me, this flooding, it's not just due to rainfall, is it? No, indeed. It's the position of Christchurch as well, very close to the lowland and to the sea. That makes it very vulnerable to floods. When water falls down Christchurch, it's very difficult to evacuate that water. And this has all happened because of the earthquakes? Tell us how that worked. Well, th that was already a problem before the earthquake, but the earthquake has made it worse. What happened is because of the quake, some part of the land has gone down, it's subsidence, so that we are way closer than we were to the sea level, so that we are more prone to floods. And what has happened also is along rivers, a lot of the banks have collapsed towards the centre so that the waterway are way smaller and they will tend to get the water out basically and flood the surrounding way easier. So Dr Gomez, what are the chances of this happening again? Yesterday we heard it was a one in 100 year event, but from what you're saying it seems like it could happen more regularly than that. Absolutely, and there are also other concerns like the climate change that modify the sea level. Sea level is rising millimetre by millimetre every year, making more areas around the coast prone to flooding as well. So what should the plan of attack for the city be? I mean, should the Christchurch residents be worried here and have a, a strategy to deal with this in future? Well, there are strategies. Right now, the Christchurch City Council is really working very, very hard to dig the waterways. So that there are areas that will be digged, it's going to get better. We have to remember that we are only a couple of years after a major quake. All the lifelines have been impacted so that when we have those storm water that have been broken in so many places, right now they are not at 100%. They are working hard at replacing them, modifying them, so that a lot of areas that have been flooded this time won't be flooded next. But for areas that are by the coast and subsiding, well, it's a very long-term problem and it's not so easily solvable. Okay, more floods to come. That's the message. Dr Chris Gomez, thank you for your time.